Welcome floss tours to my channel. My name is Shanda and I live along the Continental Divide and I'm sorry I look really tired and drained and a little sunburnt today. Um, I had a very life-changing day yesterday. Let's just say that. But today I have one FO, some new acquisitions, and a short video about a few projects that I'm working on. <music> for the week here. I guess it's been a couple of weeks since I've posted a video, but I am back in my studio. I have my quilts behind me and this is a corner cabinet that I bought many years ago and quilters, my clients who come to drop off their quilts comment all the time on this, on this corner cabinet. Um, it's one of my very fa favorite pieces of furniture and, um, Sometimes I like to video in front of it because it is it is like a mustardy color. You can see a mustardy color with red. So, okay, I got Christmas at Winterberry Cabin done. Here he is, all in his glory. Uh, I you can see down here. I ran really really close to the edge. This is done on thirty two count. Just a scrap I had. I don't know what kind or color it is, but when I go, I, I think I'm just going to turn this one into a pillow. Or um, I, I, probably just a pillow with a piece of lace and then some antique fabric on the side. But you can kind of see it was kind of close down here because I started with a two-inch border up here. So I guess my advice for the week would be make sure you have enough fabric. I was sweating, um, but just and it's because the way this is cut, it looks crooked, but it's not. I followed the thread over. Um, but anyway, Christmas at Winterberry Cabin, Brenda Gervais with By Needle and Thread, and it is done. So I've kind of thought to myself, I've finished three Christmases in a row, three Christmas pieces. I did Baby It's Cold Outside, I did Parson Brown, and now this one. So I need to work on something else, and I'm kind of done with Patriotic right now, so I think I'm going to start something fall. But I am working on some whips. I'm working on um, something for my daughter that I'll show you here in a minute. And I have a few acquisitions that oh, I just, I can't get enough of fabric, um, cross stitch fabric and patterns right now. There's just so many that is out there that's available. Um, I'll do the whips next. My Fourth of July start in my um, cabin Christmas ish fall, more of just a winter. It's not even winter, it's there's no snow, maybe fall because of the red trees. But this is a project bag I made, and this is Little Birds by Blackbird Designs. I haven't seen anybody stitching this, and I do not know why. This is one of my very favorites of them. There's, it just came out 2020, um, but it came out a little bit after market. Um, and so maybe everybody had kind of OD'd on market acquisitions. I, I just couldn't wait to start this. So it's big too. It's doing, it's going to be, I'm doing mine on 32 count. 
it's called for is 36 count Heartland. Mine is on 32 count Heartland and it's going to be uh, about 24 and a half by 21 and a quarter. So it's going to be a big one. It is 395, 395 by 339. So this is the one I'm practicing on before I start um, his eyes on the sparrow. Yeah, this is 32 count Heartland Belfast Linen. Here is my start. It's just a, this is half. I started half because I started it once already and I had to frog out some of this. So here's half of the top border to here. And then I started down the side. So it's gonna be probably clear over here. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be really, really big, but I'm loving this fabric. Um, I'm loving the way this one is being stitched with called for colors. So there's some Crescent Color Works. There's some DMC. Oh, no, no DMC, sorry. Just Crescent Color Works and Weeks Dye Works. I'll show you the colors here. And on this one, I'm in compliance. I have to show you, I'm in compliance. This one just has a leather tab on it that I got from Joann's in a closeout many, many years ago. I bought like, I don't know, 10 of them they were 60 percent off plus i don't know and ridiculously cheap anyway so it's just a leather tab but my floss has the bling and it has um a photocopy of the i believe it's the summer autumn fall winter loose leaf patterns so that's what's in my bling with thing of wheat on the back you can see that but these are the colors that I'm doing on this fabric I am really really excited about this sampler so that's one of my whips the next whip was something I started on Mother's Day it's salt box quilt sampler it was a mother's day sal and i'm doing mine over one on 28 count and i'm really liking this and i noticed last time the video i showed it looks like there's a thread running under my a but it's not it's just some of the fiber content from this fabric it's 28 count even weave sand and it's just part of the fiber it's it's not a thread at all it's just part of the fiber but it looks like there's a thread under there but anyway this is my salt box quilt sampler by Brenda Gervais with my needle and thread and it's gonna fall off my lap but like I said I'm doing it over one and it's gonna be really small but I'm really really liking it I think this is taking the place of my abecedarian Lessons in Abyssidarium, because I can't find those patterns. Um, anyway, that's that. I am getting some stitching done on my back patio. Let me show you the threads. These are the threads. This one's in compliance, too. I'll show you my bling here in a minute. My project bag is... I can't remember who this fabric is by, but I because of the nature, I just put a pearl zipper pull on it. And then my thread has, I took a picture of my pattern. It's got the White House on it. And my other charm just says, creates. So you can see that from the, create. These are my threads, and I'm using called for. And there you go. This is one of my um, stitch 10 and 20 challenges. Yeah, sorry, I'm just not on my game here today. I'm feeling, first of all, I'll just say that I'm very lucky to be here. I'm glad to be alive. 
I um, volunteer every year at an Endura Ultra Endurance Run. And I had kind of a hair-raising experience coming home off the mountain last night on my four-wheeler. So that's all I'll say. Uh, the, the last whip I want to show you isn't even really a whip yet. I need to start it. I probably will start this this week sometime now that I'm done with my volunteering up there. Um, dear daughter, I'm doing this for my daughter for her birthday. And this pattern was lent to me by... Wendy in Maine. Thank you, Wendy. But I got it all kitted up here now and blinged out. I'm doing it just on a, a piece of hard anger, 22 count hard anger, just something I had in my stash. I got some fabrics here in my haul. You'll see those in a minute. Um, and then I'll probably tea dye this because I am going to be using DMC on this one. My dear daughter, these are the colors. And my bling is a pearl and a old-fashioned little girl, probably a teenager, maybe age-wise, I'd say. And my bling on my project bag is a B. It's a B project bag. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm losing all this stuff off my lap. I'll just put it on the floor here. My bees. It has a B zipper pull on it. And it houses, like I said, my dear daughter fabric or pattern. Yeah, I am. It was a really fun day yesterday, but I, I just, like I said, I am so glad to just to be here and to be able to talk to you and be able to cross stitch. Okay. So that's my FO and my whips. My Acuas acquisitions this week. One came from Country Sampler. I'll hide my address, but one came from Country Sampler. Something I had wanted for quite some time is, and I saw Brenda, no, it was Laura from Brenda and the Cereal Starter a couple weeks ago. She had uh, blue skin, and I've wanted blue skin for a while. And I, I love George Washington. That man can still race my heart. Uh, talk a note about a noble gentleman. I love George Washington. So I bit the bullet and bought blue skin and I got a couple of threads, not many to go with it. Thank you, Jeannie and the crew at 133 Jefferson for putting that a little bit together for me. I got Hannah's Brownstone, and I think Brenda just finished this from Brenda and the Cereal Starter. And so I've had this in my wish bucket for a while. And the last one is, uh, it's called Descending Sun by Samplers Not Forgotten. And I'll read you the saying here. There's the red. I ordered the red to go with it. Reds are really hard to find. I don't know if you're finding that um, or not in your trying to kit up projects. That Reds and blues are really hard, but it's the time of season, time of year too. This um, saying on this pattern says, count that day lost whose low des descending sun derives from my hand, no worthy action done. So... Be of service to those around you and do something noble each day. Loved this. I have loved this pattern for quite some time. Okay, those are my three from Country Sampler. And then I have been waiting and waiting and waiting. I think I placed this order from 123 Stitch back when the first isolation social distancing end of March happened. I finally got it. But it is just a piece of, two pieces of fabric. Um, last time I had mentioned that I had this really nice piece of fabric that I wanted to know what it was. I think I'm stitching American Sampler on it. And one of my followers was wonderful and said it was Floba. Well, somebody had already thought that maybe it was Floda, Floba a while back and so I ordered just a sample from 123 Stitch to see if that was it. Very similar. Thank you. Yes, that's what it is. 
Um, the tag here says, this one is a little bit different color than what I'm stitching mine on. This one says 25 count natural oatmeal Floba fabric. A uh, lot thicker than your normal linen. It's, it's almost like a, a linen tablecloth. It's very hefty. It's got a beautiful drape to it. So I don't know what I'm going to make with this, but this is an 18 by, seven, 18 by 27 piece and I'll stitch something on it. But thank you for that advice. And I had this ordered and it finally came so I could confirm. Yes, that's what it was. Floba, 25 count natural oatmeal Floba. And then the other piece I had wanted was I did not own anything that was Wren. 32 count Wren Belfast linen. This is a 17 by 25 inch piece. And it's got some beautiful, beautiful modeling to it. The coloring in this is just beautiful. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And this one will be in, put in my stash too. I'm starting to build up. I've got plenty of patterns now, but if we're ever hit with a pandemic or a major stay at home order, maybe later this fall when this happens again, I got the fabric. <laughs> so there's that. Um, three other things and I'll be done. Um, this little pamphlet caused quite the stir. It, it does say embroideries right here, but it is charted cross stitch. And I cannot remember um, who it was. And I'm sorry, I don't have access to my email right now. But she sent the most aha moment email to me. She was talking about this one that I said, God is love. It reminds me of the movie, if you've ever watched Friendly Persuasions, it's an old Carrie, not Cary Grant, um, Gary Cooper movie about civil war and uh, life for a Quaker family in the days of the civil war. Wonderful movie, great Sunday afternoon movie to stitch to. Um, this little boy jumps up and says, God is love. And I've always loved that part of the movie. But here is a sampler that's cross-stitched that said, God is love. Well, this very sampler, somebody was stitching. And so she had sent my floss two video onto that person. But what are the chances of that when this pamphlet was put out in 1990? 1990 by Leisure Arts. P.O. Box. 5595 Little Rock, Arkansas. This is... 30 years old and for it to come full circle now and, and for me to get this email from this lady, wonderful, beautiful email, almost heart wrenching epiphany. It was just an epiphany at that moment. Um, but there are some really nice, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten charted, charted antique samplers really that look like they were done by, um, children. If you could get your hands on this, it would be golden. They're they're very, they're just sweet. Here's one, Sadie F, age six in 1814, A, B, C, D, E, F, D, H, I, K. Anyway, um, thank you, Nicole, for sending this to me many years ago. And thank you to my floss tube commenter who sent me an email regarding their family history with this one that was stitched on the back. So, um, there is a reason for everything in our lives. And I truly believe that. I truly believe that he watches over us and he sends us guardian, guardian, guardian angels, um, as both friends and as protectors. So um, that was a, just a, a really nice epiphany, an email from a YouTube watcher, commenter, and subscriber of mine. So thank you very much. Um, the last two things, if you don't want any more cross stitch, you can shut it off here. But the last two things, um, one has to do with 
um, something that I've subscribed to for many, 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 many years that is a source of inspiration for me in not only my decorating, but in my life, in um, some of the colors I pick from quilt projects or cross stitch projects or even the samplers that I stitch, um, are these magazines, Early American Life. And I'm reading this one right now. I, I subscribe to them. I hope they don't have my address on them. They don't. This one is from June of 2013. And look at those flags on the front. Beautiful. Just a beautiful cover. Um, but there's an article here in here on pie safes. And I've been rereading this one. I love history. I love um, Revolutionary War history. I love the history of the founding of our nation um, and the Civil War, even history up into World War I and World War II. I believe that we need to learn from prior, history repeats itself. And um, there's just some really interesting stories and um, truth to how we became our great nation and in the summer months, where we're headed. Um, this one, Early American Life, is October of 2010. And I I have lots of friends who have said, Shanti, you were born in the wrong time era. Um, maybe. But I do love salt box houses. I love, I mean, even look at these. This is an ad for some gentleman who does architectural design, but look at some of these um, inside pictures in the inside and the outside of these homes. Just this one had an article on um, faux fowl. You know how you see sometimes a turkey or something hanging by somebody's, um, there isn't one on here, um, turkeys or birds hanging from beside their fireplaces. Many, many years ago, I have always wanted a black powder rifle musket an old-fashioned one and my husband bought me one and it was hanging above my fireplace for many many years and then kind of had to move long story um and i still have it it just is not being displayed right now but our interesting articles on homes and um just history uh, i just can't get I've, i still subscribe to this and i probably started subscribing clear back in my kids were in elementary, 2006 or seven. But anyway, I have crates of these out in storage and I pull one or two once in a while and I reread these. So really good, no, no, um, hardly any advertisements, mainly in the back, you know, for, for smaller shops and whatnot. But these are such good art magazines. I love, I love reading them and rereading them. Okay, and then the last thing I want to talk about is one of my commenters here in the last week or two said, what happened to the quilting? <laughs> um, all last year and the prior years, I had just spent time on YouTube, not FlossTube, doing videos on quilting and making blocks from this 4x5 quilt block anthology. And I will show you a picture of what I'm going to be tackling here this fall. I made all 182 blocks on this quilt and I have them right here beside me they're still in block form some were applique some were paper pieced um, but I'm going to be putting this together and finally getting this quilted but because I was so burnt out on making these blocks and videoing these blocks I kind of wanted to do cross stitch so that's kind of why I made that little switch there but um, this is um, it's called the sparrows window and all these blocks, the book is from a group of women. It's written by Carol Hopkins and Linda M. Koenig. And a group of women um, back in, I want to say it was in Indiana, they got together once in a, every once in a while. And instead of making square quilt blocks, they made 4 by 5 quilt blocks. Hence, 4 by 5 quilt block anthology. Well, uh, leave it to Shanda. This block right here has... About 72 pieces. It's little tiny baby bows. Um, but some of these blocks, they just bring back memories. This was, I think, was 
I don't know what these were called, but there's so many. This one still has a paper bat on the back of it for my paper piecing. But I have all 182 of these done now. I live in the Amish community and they're going by from going somewhere. But I have, yes, they have black buggies and they have high stepping horses. Very nice people to live near. Look at all these blocks. This one's kind of 4th of July-ish. Anyway, I'm going to be putting this quilt together later on this fall, the quilt top, and getting it quilted finally here on my gamel. But I have all these blocks done. And yes, I will be, I guess the gist of my story here is, yes, I will be including more quilting um, at the back part of my floss tube videos if you want to just watch the quilting part. Um, I think that's all for now. Like I said, I am so grateful to be sitting in my studio today chatting with you and sharing my floss tube and my quilting experiences because yeah every once in a while we have those hair raising moments in our life that's kind of a come to Jesus moment and I had a very close call yesterday so no bumps no bruises Maybe a bruise, a couple bruises on my back. Um, but just, I'm so glad to be here. Um, I, I have respect for the mountains. I have respect for my four-wheeler. A newfound respect for nature, cliffs, and um, creeks that are rushing water and that are 30 feet below you. Um, but anyway, um, happy stitching. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Um, get some stitching time in. We're still kind of in a, a little lockdown, um, self-isolating uh, time. I do not have problems with this at all. I, I love to spend time at home, and I've mentioned many, many times before. But enjoy your time. Learn to do a new hobby if you want to. Learn to enjoy the moments that come in your life because of the situation that we've been placed in and to really love those around you but more importantly don't forget to tell them that you love them don't forget to tell them that we need to enjoy these moments and speak up just speak up it's it's so important to tell others that we're thinking about them that we're happy to help them to um just to relish and have them in our lives is truly a blessing and I will see you in a couple of weeks.